Stanford University. We have a large number of students who need to go back to basics in math. They're struggling with where they are, they're failing their math, and they need help. We've always been looking for a math program. We always had reading, literacy programs, never had anything solid in math, so we was always out there looking for something computer-based, uh, friendly, uh, good math instruction, provided feedback, assessment, and uh, fortunately, uh, we found one in Stanford Math. The Memphis City Schools is the 23rd largest district in the United States and serves more than 100,000 students in nearly 200 schools. 90% of those students attend Title I schools, while 86% come from economically disadvantaged backgrounds. In 2006, a team of us visited Stanford University. We had heard how good the program was and that it was available, so we actually went out there to see it in action. What we previously were using was piecemeal. This intervention, this intervention, this enrichment, this program. And we wanted something that we could use that we could move from intervention through grade level to enrichment. The group uh, of five of us that went out there were immediately impressed. We actually went into schools and watched children, talked to children and teachers, and knew that this had great impact, a great possibility to impact the mathematics in Memphis. What was good about Memphis, it was well organized. It has a lot of students who are underachieving and not surprising. They come from an SES background that by all standard predictions, yes, they're going to be underachieving. Yes, they're going to have problems. Yes, they need help. Uh, but uh, the district had a good attitude about doing something. We were able to bring in something that we thought uh, would, would, would help. As with anything, an introduction to a district-wide initiative, we had pushback from the schools because it appeared to be an add-on, something else teachers had to do. But the Stanford team has helped us tremendously with professional development, and after the teachers saw it, saw the possibilities, and saw that it was not encroaching on their time, but was adding to their efficiency, they have come around. So far, I'm really impressed. I went in there and I wasn't completely convinced that children should be at computers doing math. But over the course of the year, I'm seeing a lot more gains from my children in math. Well, when the student comes in, they log into the computer, they hear a lecture about whatever skill they need the extra help with, and then they work problems based on that skill. They have a couple of chances to get the problem right, and then it moves on to another question. If they don't understand, they can hear the lecture again. They can go to a glossary. We have a rather complicated, uh, what we call in the computer world, an algorithm. That is a method of computing on the basis of that individual student's work, not on any other student, how fast that student should advance and in which parts of the curriculum. You have individual programs for each student, so they're working in different strands and different areas, so you're going from one component to another based on the student needing the help. When you have a program that has up-to-date information and has new ways to teach the students and it constantly review them, giving them um, the tutoring um, that they need in whatever skill, on whatever skills they need, um, it's a big help and a big relief for the teacher. Because it, I don't have to grade the paper. <laughs> And I don't have to pull papers to um, differentiate instruction. It's like it tells you, it explains it to you, like a, like a teacher does. It, it tells you what the subject is and how it's going to be and stuff. Sometimes in class, when children have problems with not understanding something, they won't ask questions. And with the computer, in the Stanford math, they can replay it if they didn't get it until they do get it, and they don't mind the computer knowing them that they didn't understand it. It doesn't have the same stigma as raising your hand saying, I just don't get it. I'm seeing a lot of confidence building. The, some of the students that don't understand when they 
finally get it, you can really see the light bulb come on over their head, and then the confidence just skyrockets. Yes, it does build up my confidence. I'm able to work it without getting scared of the problem, because some problems are big, but with the confidence that I have, I'm able to do it. I think uh, Stanford Math personally has made a tremendous impact on our student achievement in mathematics. Uh, it's a great uh, support to good first teaching. Um, again, the students are being exposed to the national mathematics standards. Uh, the standards are rigorous, challenging for our students. I think I'm in a top zone because at first, when I first started off, I was in the third grade, and then I started working up and got to, got to the level that I'm supposed to be on. I have eight CLU students in my class, and a lot of the, the parents of these gifted students, they love the program because they feel like uh, their children have sort of been bored in previous classes because they have mastered the information, and with the Stanford Math program, they're being challenged. So they absolutely love that. The kids in my classroom at Carnes, they're competitive in Stanford math. They want to get to that, that green bar. They know they want to get to that 90 percentile. And so with that, they want to always say, what did you score? What did you do this week? And so with, they, they like the fact that they can achieve better than the next student. So I really attribute that to Stanford math. Stanford has really set the standard for what collaboration between a university and a school district should be. The Stanford people, the support we have in Memphis is great, excellent. Uh, they're on the phone call away. And many times we have Stanford people just stop by periodically without even calling. Well, I'm very pleased that uh, Stanford University, as a, a premier university in this country, is in the public education uh, niche is in the public education bandwidth with and trying to help us. Uh, so for Stanford University to put its brain power, put its resources, put its research behind uh, developing uh, user-friendly tools for children, adolescents, and teachers is, is a huge, huge uh, benefit uh, to public uh, education leaders all over the country. I have seen gains for to a year to a year and a half, and that's with average students. With my you know, enrichment students, I've got some of them in the past that's gone up to, like I said, sixth, seventh grade level. We did a pretest, and it, uh, the pretest and post test we did was not affiliated with the Stanford Math. It was another pretest and post test, and the average gain was a year and six months, and I just think that's tremendous gains, and it correlates to their level that they've been working on in the Stanford math program. We attribute a large part of that growth to the Stanford math because it helps not only the student build their knowledge and their confidence, but it helps the teacher pinpoint the problems the children are having so they can assist in correcting that and move the children forward even faster. The students that we've talked to enjoy the program. Not only do they feel successful, I think part of it is they have the full attention of that computer and it is talking to them directly. They are working on it without all of the other confusion that could be going on in the classroom or competition for the teacher's time. Um, after our recent test, I know many of our elementary students have reported, oh yes, I saw that on Stanford Math. Math, uh, math isn't really my strong point, so I really, never really liked it. But since I started Stanford Math, it's really been helping. I look forward to it a lot. I want students coming in and saying, when can I get on the computer? I want to continue working on my algebra. I want to get through Algebra 1, go to 2, get through Geometry. I want to get into Calculus. That's my goal. wasn't my goal. It is now because of EPGY. When I get students thinking and talking like that, uh, I'm excited. I can pass the baton.